about the orange and black presented by Great Railing. Now we're back at the halftime show now, and they got some highlights from the first half. The first half for now. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, we saw Philadelphia possessing the ball. Paul Day even talked about how well they were possessing the ball. They just weren't quite getting the results. Two nice goals from Philadelphia, but it felt like even though Philadelphia was possessing the ball so much early, the tide kind of started to shift, and Buffalo was able to, to get the majority of possessions, get better looks, and uh, that's why they're in the lead 6-2 to two at the half. How about the Buffalo Bandits? It's Chase Frazier with the first of two. He pays the price. That's one of the first times I've seen an NLL goal scored on a crease dive where a player gets hit and redirected midair and still scored. But uh, Buffalo just found the way to kind of crack into the armor of Philadelphia and went on a, a bit of a run, a five-goal run, as a matter of fact. Nick Weiss meeting the great Dane. Yeah, Nick Weiss, doing a great, Nick Weiss doing a great job out in front of Dane Smith there to make a room for him to find the net. How about the open Nanico to the... Three goals. Well, we always see Deoka doing his work in front of the crease, but we also saw him on a really great pick and pop that he's able to score in the two-man game with Dane Smith. Chase Frazier with an unbelievable backhand goal on that. Uh, Higgins did everything he could to try to save that, but Chase Frazier is so athletic. Great finish by Chase. Great goaltending tonight with the respective clubs. Hope you stick with us. Why not? A classic with Buffalo and Philadelphia. Tonight on ESPN+. Plus. All right. Countess Yoka Subaru 